Hey, uh, hey guys, happy, happy, happy Saturday. This is JJC Oliver, international executive. Guys, I just wanted to come to you to let you know that we were blessed today. We were supposed to have presentation training um, at SSS and by surprise, our national diamond, Mr. William Thurston, number two earner of the company, showed up to give us an impromptu training, which is actually in progress right now. What's up, my brother Bruins? Um, so if you are in the area of 5087 Clark Howe, Clark Howe, yeah, um, the Comfort Suites in, you need to come on out. Let me show you. He is giving, I don't want to go in there and be loud because he's training. Can you see him? There he goes. That's a little blurry, guys. I'm sorry. A little blurry, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know why it's so blurry. Five. Five. Gary, you were supposed to be here. He's giving it to us, guys. I didn't. I was an overachiever. I worked every day. And I was talking to 20. I don't know why it's so blurry, five, guys. I'm sorry. Let me try again. Sorry, guys. And here's the thing. There you go. Can't say that you don't have time. There Who you rides go. around and listens to Nephew Tom in the car? Yeah, Steve Hart. Who listens in the radio on the way to work? What you listen? What are you doing in your car? Usually music. music. Right. Do you know that your car is your, your office? Yep. So... If you talk to five people a day, five days a week. That's Marie, you should have been here. Betty, you should have been here. How many you got a month? Gary, you were supposed you to be here. Now, if you fuck, but everybody say the fortune is in the follow-up. The fortune is in the follow-up. That's the key. The fortune is in the follow-up. If you just call, it doesn't make a okay, difference. Okay, baby, come on. Call we're waiting for you. They can lie to you tomorrow. And then so they can see you to voice, man. But you never know. Here's the, here's the blessing. When you're going to mess around and turn over a rock and rob and box. That's right. You never know when you're going to turn over a rock and J.C. Oliver is right there. Absolutely. But guess what you won't ever find? Them, if you don't call what? Uh, and do what? Uh, here it is. Because you're looking for four people to run the what? Play. Now here's where the success lies. Everybody says success. Success. It's only. It's only. It's only. Duplicatable. duplicatable. If it's duplicatable. If it's duplicatable. Powerful. It has to be duplicatable. Or That's there's right. no success. That's right. So what you're going to do, you're not going to teach your person all the ins and outs. You know why your people quit? You was giving them too much information. You know what I need you to do? I need you to make a list when you join. I need, only, the only thing I want you to do today is make a list of 100 people. And we're going to call five for what? Hey, girl. But what about this? Don't worry about that. We ain't ready for that. Travel is what we do, but don't worry about that. I want you to get your business free so that you won't quit and stay in my matrix. Because when you stay in my matrix, I get what? Paid. I need you in my matrix. That's right. Hey, Miss Lorraine. So my number one job is you to have get a beautiful you. baby Check. girl. You know, God, congratulations. Even if you get a one check. So I need to get you a what? Pritchett. So I got Where you at, Pritchett? In your first 30 days, you're going to run into what? So I need you to call how many hmm? people is that? Three times. How many okay. Days? <laughs> 25 a week. How many a month? <coughs> you can't tell me. We ain't going to find how many people. Four. And one of them going to mess around and eat. A diamond. That's right. But what you won't get, if you let me. Now let's talk about depression. Depression is a real thing. Yeah. It's, it's a real thing. Yes, it is. So when you're depressed, hmm? you can't oh, concentrate. My laptop. Oh, it's already a laptop. You can't concentrate. No, it's not. On what you need it's actually the, the cord is right there. That, you see it on the table? You know what mm -hmm. do? The cord when on the table. Mm -hmm. the That's what you need to plug up. Freedom, mm -hmm. They stop it. Okay. Thank you. The very thing that can get them out of the situation, they start doing less of that and more what? A stuff that won't help them. Don't let depression. Hey, Miss Laura. If depression is real, it exists. It's hard. This world is ugly. It's an ugly world. It really is. People aren't nice. Okay? 
But you got to find your happy place. You got to find your happy place. Okay, so remember why you came to vacation. Just something you should have been here. Because I'm going to be transparent with you. Please. I'm not Barbara. I have a high school diploma. Hey, Laura. I'm not marketable in the workplace. I'm intelligent, but I'm not marketable. I can't go and say, you know what? Diamond activity, baby. Thank you, Laura. Why? Because I want. Because I'm smart. You gotta have that paper behind you if you want to go that route. And then that, that's not. You can't just have a degree. You gotta have a specialty. Because your little degree don't mean a thing right now. I sure don't. You, need a, you gotta be a specialist, a brain surgeon, a heart surgeon, a lawyer. You can't just be, you know, just get a degree in English, math, or some history, right? Unless you're gonna be a teacher. And they don't make what? Much at all. You get where I'm coming from, right? Mm-hmm. So, why did you come in vacation? So, number one is, Hope number two is why did you come in vacation? I came in vacation. I'm very clear. I want to be rich. I, 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 I was looking at Steve Harvey's show yesterday. And they showed, did y'all look at it? the young brother that was on there that owns the Ferrari and the big house in California? Like, how much time do you have left on this earth? Very little. No if you're over 40, very, the answer is very little. I know that's right. <laughs> Lord help me. So you got to get it done right. Now. That's why. Vacation. Yeah. So <coughs> if you want to quit, think about what? Why you what? Came in. Okay. It's difficult, number three, but it's fair. That's right. It really you know what's is. Not fair? Jobs. Because a lot of times, it's political. Politics is involved. This is my cousin, so I'm going to get him. This is my cousin, so I'm going to get him, right? Not what you know, who you know. Not what you know. But in this, me and you, we start on the same day. Mm-hmm. You could be smarter than me, but I'll make more money than you because you're using intelligence, and I'm using blood, sweat, and tears. Right. I'm on my grind, 24-7. You can't even walk near me. Like, see, oh, I don't really want it. I was so hungry that you had to tell me 30 times. Now tell me again why you don't want to save money in your travel game. I mean, I, to, to I mean, every day they'll be like, oh, he just he comes. here he comes again. I, I, I was like a beat What's up, man? How you doing? How's it going? I signed up about eleven people, maybe twelve people out of LA Fitness. Okay, because I beeline towards them. Every excuse, my, I gotta talk to my wife. I used to laugh at dudes. Like, you gotta ask your wife. Like, what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, I, I gotta pray about it. Well, let's pray right now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. You know what I'm yes. So, my point is, I was relentless. Remember the movie? You gotta be relentless in the pursuit of what? Happiness. What was Will Smith? He was very persistent. Persistent and relentless. For real. But you guys are, you guys say you want to be wealthy. See, it's difficult. Just admit. Number three is what? It's difficult, but it's what? So stop lying to your people. I do. Got some water? You got to call five people a day. Guess what? Your commitment is to who? You? Yourself. It's not to Billy. My commitment is not to Trey Harris. My commitment is not to David E. Manning. My commitment is to me. When I don't do what I'm supposed to do, I let myself down. So I did that to me. So she I let, I let <laughs> me down. And that's what I want you guys to understand. You're not hurting yourself. You're, you're not hurting the other person. You're hurting yourself. You got to go in knowing it's a war. You can't go into a war saying it's peacetime. You got to go into a war with your machine gun. You got to have your blood chest, your, ch- your chest protect on. Your helmet, you, you behind the rock. You're not in, you're in a war, right? You know what I like, hey, how you doing? Because what's going to happen to you? You're going to get shot, right? So you're going into a what? 
This is the war. People try to say money ain't important. It's everything. It really Outside is. Outside God. Because everything <coughs> costs money. That's Ooh, right. Money. And good food costs money. And good water costs money. Right. And you can get the signing on every corner. But it's hard to get this here. This, this costs a little bit more. That alkaline water, huh? You, you see where I'm coming from? Right? Mm-hmm. So, it's difficult, but it's what? It's fair. Meaning that you can't, just because you know a cousin, don't mean you can do better than me. We both started on this same day. That's right. You played around with it, I ran with it. Fourth thing, it's not a network marketing no longer is an option, it's a necessity. So, why do I say that? Because I want you to talk boldly. Everybody say challenge. And challenge. I want you guys to get bold so that you can challenge people on their philosophy. When somebody says something about MLM, go look at my video and see how I broke that down. The Uber guy laughed at that dude. I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? You drive Uber. And you, in your own car, giving away your money, putting your own miles on the car for $700 a week and you're making the guy rich. That's a pyramid scheme. Because you can't now, you know why it wouldn't have been a pyramid scheme, Rodney? If, if, if Mr. Uber said, well, guess what? You can go recruit some Uber people and override their efforts. Exactly. If you can't leverage people in your opportunity, you're in a pyramid scheme. Exactly. Ooh. Say it again. That's called a job. Say it again. If you can't leverage people at your job, if I can't leverage you, I'm in a pyramid scheme. You know what makes mine a pyramid? But everything's a pyramid. But you know why ours is not, ours is not a pyramid scheme? Because you can leverage people as well. I sign you up, you have the same rights I have. That's right. You can leverage the same people that I leverage. That's right. Right or wrong. Yes. But many of us, we run around here, and we let people call our things a pyramid scheme. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, you've been at your job 20 years, you make a dollar more than you used to. <laughs> <laughs> that is the biggest pyramid scheme that ever existed, right or wrong? Yes. Right or wrong? Right. So if you if you don't have the ability <laughs> to leverage people, then you're in the people. Every Uber driver in the world is, y'all should just catch Uber to just tell them that. Just call an Uber tomorrow. Just talk to some folks. So if you know you are in a pyramid scheme, because why hasn't he allowed you the ability to, why though, why? You want me to refer people to your Uber thing, don't you? Mm-hmm. That's right. You give me my little fifty dollar Uber. But yep, yep. But you don't want me to get a percentage monthly. See what we do? We're doing the same thing. We refer people, but we get a small percentage. That's because right. remember, you might want to write this down. Warren Buffett said he'd rather make one percent of a hundred people's efforts than one hundred percent of his own. That's right. And that's what you got to teach. But see, you can't teach that if you don't know it. I need y'all to get a little more confident and start challenging people. On their philosophy. Mm. Okay? Yes. They hit you with that. But you gotta be able to intelligently and effectively be able to communicate that point. Yeah. And you know the most important part? You gotta believe it. That's right. That's it. See, you gotta believe. I believe with every fiber in my bone that if you have a job, you appear. And I can prove it to you. I can prove it to you. I don't care if you're in the military. I don't care what you're in. I can break down your job. Then 90% of the people in your job are at the bottom. That's called effectively communicating and challenging. What's the word? Challenging. Challenging. Y'all got to get a little bit more bold. That's it. You got to get just a little bit more bold. You got to get a little bit more. You know what? I'd rather be able to get mad at me and walk away stumping than for you to think you beat me. I know that's you know, say it again. Yeah. Say it again. I'm gonna make you walk away. You're gonna walk away stumped. Because I'm gonna challenge every point that you get. I'm that's a period. Oh no, leave it. Oh no, I'm gonna eat you alive when you say it. So you either gonna be a business partner or somebody that can't stand me. I'm good with both of them. <laughs> so that's how that is. So Billy crazy. Dominate. 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 Fifth. Dominate. Well, Right, they listening. Go ahead. You know what I did? That was fine. 
<laughs> you jumped yes. ahead one. Okay. So, you know what? Dwight Howard would probably never win. I want to get somebody in my face to cut me. You're welcome, Nicole, baby. I was about to cut it, but I'll, be, I'll, let, I'll let you hang out. I'm not going to use the word soft. That's not the word. He doesn't what? Dominate. What does he do? Dominate. What did she kill O'Neal? Dominator. Dominator. What did he do to him? He tried to put his foot through something. Right? When Kobe Bryant attacked hey, the basketball, oh, he tried to tear the rim off the, the hook. Mm-hmm. But Dwight Howard, <laughs> he wasn't here. So I see how I don't use that word. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you got, I dominated. I told David Hughie, and, and, and you can put it, and David knows, and I love him, but I told him. You're coming for him. Beat him. I know that's right. I told hey, Johnny, I said, I'm going to beat you. It didn't have nothing to do with their lack of ability. It had with everything to do with my, what I thought about me. Right. See, you, right. most people worry about the other person. I can care less what you bring to the table, because I know what I bring to the table. Somebody will miss that point. Mm-mm. Sometimes you're so busy thinking about the other person and their abilities that you never think about what you bring to the table. That's right. No, I didn't graduate from college. No, I didn't. But guess what? I break I break for a living when I was I came up with holes in my shoes in Chicago. In a, we got two pairs of shoes. School, first day of school, then my birthday sucked it was December 29th. Oh wow. And birthday was the same for me. Amen. So I got one pair of shoes. And Christmas, and one pair of shoes on the first day of school. And they were Converse All-Stars, and they had thin soles. Mm-hmm. And when you play basketball, you get a hole right there by the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I had to take my cardboard and tape it up and keep it moving. And I had to remember when I was in gym, not to sit Indian style. Because you see the bottom of my shoe, I had to always keep it Wow. I was conscious Those about days. it. But yeah. guess what? It made me the man I am today. Ain't, I tell people my life ain't never been easy. When we, in Chicago, we took bottles back. But I was the bottle-taking back king. Five cents, knee high. Back wow. to Steve's store. Transparency. Love All it. All the time. I raked leaves. I shoveled snow. Whatever I needed to do, I went through my pocket, my parents' pockets to look for change. I mean, you throw that in there, too. Because <laughs> <laughs> the quarter was a big deal back then. <laughs> 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 Oh, wow. And, and, and where I came from, you had to be, you know, it's way crazier now. But back then, it wasn't about, you know, you get shot, you don't know you're dead. But back then, you Fight. get beat up and scared. Mm-hmm. You know, but, but, <laughs> so I remember making my, this is, this is it, guys. I remember driving my bike on the way to Steve's door and turning around because I was scared. I was like, I can't go on that block right here. Wow. Growing up in the hood will make you a man. Because one day you got to do what? You got to walk off your block. That's right. That's right. You know what I did? I put two socks for the rocks. Mm. Hey, Treva. The rocks. The rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. The rocks. Yeah. Thank you, my out of towners, for, for tuning in. We got a huge surprise today with our number two top earner gracing us with an impromptu training. So, thank you for tuning in, guys. I came to dominate. See, that's the problem with network marketers. They're not coming. Just, you got to dominate. Michael Jordan, he tried to put, he tried to embarrass you. Listen, I came in to vacation to document. I didn't come in to vacation to be number two or number 12. I came in knowing that the only thing you have on me is what? What's the one thing anybody, what do I have on you? Oh, that was it. And that's how you got to look at it. I looked at, I looked at those other people, team, I said, okay, you got 100, I got two. But you've been in this thing how long? Right. I said, why should I do it 30 days? 
Mm -hmm. He ain't lying. I worked in a full time job with Comcast because I was in people's living rooms. Sunny Chandler, come on, what if I would have said that to her? Yep. I wouldn't have at least, she got, she got 1,250 people on her team right now. Wow. They would be on my team right now if I wouldn't have recruited her. That's right. So, that's what I'm Hey, Curtis. I watch y'all care. I watch people walk by and y'all say that to me. I'm like, man, do you understand? Do you know what we used to? Years ago, I wish Jack Denton was his. Do you know what I mean? We used to fight for the people that were walking through the hallway. Wow. Was, wow. You know, I was a dude, so I had to hit me. Okay. I was in the lobby. Lobbying. I was getting in. Like he said he was in the there. lobby, lobbying. So we in there, oh, Lord mercy. We in there surveying the room, and I'm keying on You guys are listening to this. I was snatching people straight out the lobby, straight into the meeting. That's how hungry we were. We didn't get here by accident, y'all. That's right. We didn't get here by accident. We were straight up starving. Okay, so dominate. Dominate. You heard that guy is dominate. It's good stuff, Mr. William. Good stuff. Okay. Have a second. The secret is everybody want another secret just to say? There is none. <laughs> there is none. That's the biggest secret. Work. There's no secret sauce. There's no. No magic in the bottle. Listen, can I bring my books? Uh -uh. Can I bring those two books? I don't know. You see, but I brought. Uh, oh, why you got your stuff over there? I didn't even know you had that over there. Huh? You look good over there. Yeah, but people be coming over here. Take that over there, please. I don't need nobody snatching your your Gucci. Right. So, guys, I didn't bring my two books. The two books that I've read the most. Now, I'm going to tell you, I did read the 48 Laws of Power. You know why? So, he must be talking about the ones he showed on the video. Talk to the difference between a confidant and a <coughs> comrade. Confidant and comrade. Yeah. Comrade. I forgot it too. Yeah. Confident comrade. But they look alike. They not the same. And it also taught me my enemy's enemy is my friend. That's right. And see, when we were in this business, in the beginning, it was it was real. It was hey, Kill. So the 48 Laws of Power, every CEO in the world has read that book. You gotta read that book. Confident. Confident. The 48 Laws of Power. It's the hardest book you ever read. It's this thing, and it takes about a day to read two pages because it's that, just that day. It took me almost two years to finish that day. Confident, confidant, comrade, constituent. Thank you. That's it. Oh, you look it up. That's it. <laughs> but they all look the same. You got to know who's your confidant. In this business, I'm not going to mention the name because everybody knows was the one that I could tell everything. Because you can't tell people I had a bad day. Why am I bringing this up? Why am I bringing this up right now? Why am I bringing this up? Mm -hmm. Because some of y'all talk too much. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You had a bad day. You can't tell nobody you had a bad day. No, you, who can, what's the one person that you can tell you had a bad day? Yeah. Your mama. No, you got God too. I said the person. Your mama. Confident. 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 My mama. In this business, you have to have a what? Confident. If you don't, you're in trouble. You know why you're in trouble? Because you need somebody that you, that you can be transparent with. That you can say, I feel like quitting, man. I hate all of you. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to say right or wrong. But if you. Say that to a constituent, what are they going to go do? Hmm. They're going to go tell that. Yep. That's right. Because you thought it was your what? Wow. Confidant. But they look alike. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so like say it again. Like yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. 
Now, a comrade is my enemy, but we share a common what? Goal. No, we share a common enemy. Um, so enemy. Put together to destroy that one person. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I now, feel you. You see? We, if a certain individual is getting ready to leave vacation, mm. and they try to dog us, mm. then the comrades what? Yeah. Come together. Rally in together on them. It's over. What do we do? We separate. separate. Here's the problem. Most people just think they just hear a friend. You didn't. That's right. That was just your comrade. That's right. That wasn't your comrade. That's right. That's good. Right there. Can you, um, I have some viewers that are requesting, partners that are requesting the name of the book again. 48 Laws of Power. Uh, who, do you know who the author is? Okay. Right All right, guys. The 48 Laws of Power. Get the book. Tell them to Google it. Google it. Yeah. Google There's it. another one, The Art of War. But I, the I Art like of War also. Of okay. Thank you. So, that's the mistake. Some of y'all, I watch you on Facebook. I'm guilty. And you just release. Mm. I'm guilty. You're talking about stuff that don't have nothing to do with nothing. You know, you know, just sad stuff, you know. Just, you know, just stuff about, like you'll see stuff like, uh, I know you ain't my friend, but I'm okay or some stupid stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm Trying to throw subliminal messages to people. Yeah, <laughs> Network marketing. Yeah. I'll subliminal you to death. I do <laughs> but it's going to be all my stuff is going to carry the same thing. Okay. I might punch you in the nose with my words, but it's a vacation book. I gave you a vacation book. No, it had nothing to do with like, what you do with your life. That's your thing. But when you go this way or that way, that's what I'm like. Good stuff. Right? But most people. They start talking about, my friend was my friend, you know, them kind of stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Then, you know, you're not going to catch me doing that. We're getting it in, y'all. Getting it in. That part is really pain. Right? So you have to know. Mary. The secret to this business is, first of all, you talk to them. About stuff that don't matter. The second one is you have to be consistent, and you can't be 70% positive and 30% negative. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what some people try to do. But I only said that one thing. I'm guilty. You can't do it. I'm guilty. Okay? Can I do that? Now, uh, thank you. Now, number, where we at? Number eight? Yes. Oh, oh, I lost track myself. Right now, condition. Condition. Condition, guys. You have been conditioned to quit. Because at your job, you're always looking for a better what? A better job. Uh -huh. So that you can what? Make, you, make more so money. You can what? That's the word. Oh, so you can quit. See, yeah. okay. I'm trying to get you walking here. Because, see, I want you to understand that you've been conditioned to what? It's in your DNA. Uh -huh. You quit relationships. When the first, as soon as it get hard, what's the first thing you do? You get up. We've been conditioned quit. to what? Quit. It's in our DNA. Right or wrong? That's when right. The, when your job makes you mad, what's, what you want to do? Quit. When vacation, somebody in vacation make you mad, what's the first thing you want to do? Quit. <laughs> I hope y'all walking with me. Now you go to teammates because you haven't educated them. With this, because we're too worried about recruiting people and we're not putting nothing in. That's See, smart. that's the problem that's going on right now. That I noticed that all these people are coming into vacation and they're not getting the personal development part, which is the most important part. So, if you condition to quit, the first sign of trouble you're going to what? But guess what? In vacation, it's going to be what? It's going to be what? Trouble. trouble. It's going to be what? Trouble. Yeah. I've seen women quit vacation because the dude made them mad. That is the most what? retarded thing. And I can say that on film. Not retarded. Immature. Yeah. You can't. Everybody know the Ash Bank rules. You on that call and she said, emotion don't make no what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oil and water, man. 
You can't mix emotion. That's right. I don't like him, so I quit. I don't want to be, you know the most ridiculous thing? People call me and say, Mr. Thurston, I don't want to be on this team no more. Can I move you? I'm, does it really matter? <laughs> does it really matter? No. You're worrying about the wrong stuff. You That's care right. that much that you're on this person's team that you're going to stop working? I'm, I'm not going to do anything. Man, you, you ain't hurt me. you hurt? Yes, sir. Who would you hurt? Yes, sir. Exactly. Craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. People, people, I've seen national executives quit because they don't like the person. I just don't like her. Wow. I, I'm just done. I, I can't work with her anymore. But don't work with her. You're working for yourself. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. See, everybody, but then they read books. I know people that read they got a, they have a library in their house. And they got all this useful information, but it's useless because they're not using it. That's it. Okay? Now, okay, moving right along. We got about 30 more minutes before we break. So most people have been conditioned to do what? Quit. Quit. Most people have been conditioned to what? Quit. Here's a most people have been conditioned to be scheduled. Mm. That's the issue. So, here's the situation. You 100% committed to your job. You know I'm going to prove it to you? Right now, you know what time you got to go to bed and go work. Work. You've been conditioned. Somebody might say, man, you come home, I can't, I got to do what? Work in the morning. Right? Yes. Yes. Right, wrong. Yeah. Right. right, I'm guilty. That's a condition. Now, here's what you're not conditioned to do. And this is the difference between a diamond and somebody that will never hit that. That schedule. How many people did I ask you to talk to again? Five. You know how many people in this room will actually do it? I, I, will. I, will. I will. I wouldn't bet my life on it. I just wait. Knowing it, but you know what I will get my life on? If you do it, if you do what I ask you to do in 30 days, you'll have 40 people. Because it's worth it. If you just not call them, you're going to call. I'm getting on your nerves. You're going to tell me again that they work. I just can't understand why you don't want to see what your job did you look at the Did you look at the video? You should, I'm gonna send it to you one more time. You just, I'm gonna send you this call. You maybe maybe this call is doing. You, you, you didn't listen to the call. You didn't, you didn't hear the part about the booking this? Man, I'm gonna send it to you one more time. I'm gonna make for you. You either gonna join Pay Nation or be friends. You are gonna kick me off Facebook. <laughs> I know that's right. Something's gonna happen. Right now, I'm a lot more friendly with it because I'm not. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm not as aggressive as I used to. But in my broke work days, oh, you have to tell me again. <laughs> hey, I know you told me that you, but I, I just, I, I, I'm having a hard time understanding why you say you don't want to say what Yeah. You know what I mean? Man, I just, I thought about you again today, man. Can you tell me again why you don't want to say money in your job? You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> what So, so, schedule. You know what most people do? Call. You say I'm going to call five. Now, let's break down this data. So in the morning, instead of listening to the Steve Harvey morning show, or Nephew Tommy, take me by what to get to work. That's one phone call. Yep. And you can't tell me because I know you didn't talk to somebody in your car before. Mm-hmm. Girl, did you see Bobby Brown? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Did you see yep. Brown? Did Brown looked like something wrong with Brown. What's wrong with Brown? <laughs> right? We'll spend most of our time on that girlfriend stuff. Right? I'm sorry, Smitri. So it's not that you don't have time, it's what you're doing with your time. Exactly. That's one call out the way. It's something about 
Committing to your commitment. You might want to write that down. Committing Ooh. to your commitment. Committing your commitment to your commitment. Commit you know to your commitment. When you do, something? do you know that something magical happens when you do something? So, something happens from it. Something happens from it. <laughs> exactly. It's not magic, guys. Something just happens. Right? You know what most people do, though? The first three days, you didn't recruit nobody. You get to five and then you give up on the fourth. You, ah, oh, oh, It don't work. Oh, it don't work. You get where I'm coming from, guys? Yes, absolutely. But if you talk to five people a day, Five days a week, take the weekend off, that's 25 people a week, 100 a month, and you follow up, you, it, it, it would be impossible not to sign up for it. But what happens is, okay. Yes, he is, James. When I was doing cable, some days I would get up, because I was a direct sales installer. I had to sell and install at that time. I got on people's nerves. And don't ever come. Don't put that on my door again. You know, I used to hear that all the time. Get off my steps, man. I'm asleep. <laughs> wake him up in the middle. Hey, how you go? Boom. Go get started. You have a good day, too, then. Right? Now, some days, the very first door I knocked on, God smiled on me like that. I get, get, get home by 3 o'clock in the afternoon today because, boom, this person said yes. Sometimes it's 6 30. I'm in a subdivision with 350 houses. I'm knocked on 349 doors. What door was it that got me to sell? 350. 350 of doors. That's right. That's why this business is so easy. Because I understand the law of numbers. Okay. In 30 days, I was an international executive because I talked to 600 people. Right? I'm jumping out the Comcast van <coughs> with flights. I have. Cards, flyers, hi, hello. Y'all not like me. Let's go, Jane. Nobody in here would walk past me about a book without you getting a business card. I'm going to say hello to you. That's what I love about the world. See, but most of y'all are conditioned to be skeptical. Now, if you had a boss to tell you to do it, you got paid for it. You get up and do it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See the difference? Yep. Because yes. it would be part of your job. Description. Your job what? Description. If you had a boss saying, do it. You would do it. But you won't do it that's for yourself. Why, that's why most people never make it to the top of any company. Because they used, they, they're waiting to be sketchy. Mm. If you used to sketch. Your whole life is a sketch. Mm. All you know is sketch. You've been conditioned. Mm. Now. Talk about three scriptures. Renew, rebuild, remember, and restore. I'm challenging you to, to read Jeremiah 30 and 17, for I will restore the health to you and your womb. Mm -hmm. And one of your wounds is financial. Hey, Sherry. If you don't have enough, that's a wound. You know why it creates other things? It creates stress. Right now, as people work, how am I going to pay myself? That was my thing. I, was, I didn't have enough money. I was tired. That's a wound. So one wound opens up other wounds. My credit score was 530. I had a 530 credit score when I came in this business, man. What is it now? Almost 700. That's what I'm talking about. It's a working process. Yeah. It's a long way from where it was. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was wounded. Psychologically, in men, it's very hard to be a man when you don't have a man. Women, we say we love. We get mad, I guess. I'm trying to hang in here with you. Yeah. Yep. So, you know, so we as men, we, we have this awesome stuff we have to care for. And women too. The single women. Women. You can look, look at it. Sometimes just drive around and look at it. Women. Financial. Women. And they, they bleed and, and they drink more, smoke more, 
eat bad, and that's the wound. Isaiah, he said, Jeremiah 30, 17, or I will restore your health to, to you and your wounds, and I will heal you, for you have been living with outcasts. That's the most important part, outcasts, that's us. People that think big, dreams. MLMers. I'm so proud of Mark Zuckerberg, I don't know what This dude got Facebook Live. Who? Now, Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, Zuckerberg. And I was reading, see, I, I followed what's happening in the world. This dude just bought 220 satellites to get free internet to the third world country. Wow. Wow. But, who knows why? To get exposure out there to those countries. Somebody caught that. See, some other people think it's from the kindness of his heart. It's probably a little bit of it was. But, 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 but that write off and that exposure. He just crossed over 2 billion customers. Oof. Facebook. Your network determines your net worth. Ooh, see, that's right. Okay? So what I'm saying to you is everything I watch, I'm watching these, I know my moves that I'm going to make. I'm watching these guys. I see what they're doing. And most people would have missed that. They'd have been like, oh, he is so scared. Mm-hmm. The devil did. Mm-hmm. They don't know. What is this business? Internet what? Marketing. The smartest. Thing. These dudes are geniuses. We sitting around here talking about, you know, what's wrong with most of our people, man, we wear our money. We've been conditioned to look like we have money. We want the shiny things. Mm-hmm. Do you know, I get this example all the time. Do you know I can sell you, you, not you, but our people. Mm-hmm. I can sell our people a, a car with a bad engine, a good rim, or I can sell a car with a good engine, a bad engine. Yep. yep, yep. Trying to keep up with the Jones mentality. Yes, yes, yes. That's us. We yep. just want to look like we got money. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I restore. Then rebuild. And it's so important. I hope you write these scriptures down. I want you to meditate on them. Isaiah 61. I need, I need this stuff. They will rebuild ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated by the generations. Four. Four through one. Isaiah 61, 4 through 9, just chapter 4. And it talks about restoring the ancient ruins. You are the product of your mother. I'm the product of my father. I'm a preacher. I get it. Hey, Cedric. Hey, Anthony. I get it. This is, I was born this way. Hey, Mr. Harris. So let me just say this about. Going to my back. We, 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 we were some broken work. Me and, and his father before him. And his father before him. But with each generation, we get better. My son, I have a 30 year old son, get ready to get married. Way more mature than me in some areas. Right? Some areas. So what I'm saying is, that's called breaking the generational word. Curse. Hey, Mr. Harris. Glad you joined us. There's a curse on a lot of families. Yes. And it's called conditional poverty. Mm. Do you know people where I come from still live in the same? I know people on 85th and Marsh that still on 85th and Marsh in mm-hmm. the same house when I was a little boy. Yep. And I go back, and the first thing they say to me is, hey, man, what's up, man? Thursday, man. Oh, man, let's go up on Ashland and get, get, get a drink or something, man. And you, yeah. you want to go get it? And they drink is malt liquor. Wow. <laughs> you understand? Know they want the OE. Like, dude, you got to drink the OE at 7 30 in the morning? <laughs> God, you know, I'm thirsty, man. You know, it's just how, it's, it's conditional, it's general. The women. Our young women. 10, 20 kids. Yeah. Man. The, the, the welfare. I'm going to get on welfare because that's how I do it. If I get six kids, I get six checks. The dudes. <coughs> the drugs, daddy sold drugs. Yeah. Gang bang. The daddy was a bang. That's that generational curse. He said, ruin. They will build ancient ruins and restore the places that's been devastated. That's Isaiah. 
Because we've been devastated. We've been devastated. You know what I'm so thankful for? Every time I tried to sell drugs, I got caught. Okay. The Lord never let me win. Whenever I shoplifted, I was the one that got caught. <laughs> Hey Jessica. God always real me. In. He never let me get too far away. But I tried everything. Everything that there was to try, I tried. But I never got away with it. I was the worst drug dealer ever. Praise Jesus. Okay. Now, Romans twelve two. Final one. That's really Romans good. twelve two. Do not be conformed or conditioned. I added that. That's me. See, conformed and conditioned is the same thing. Sir. By this world, but by the renewing of your mind. But here's the best part. By the renewing of your mind, so that you can discern what's good. Ooh. Yes. So that you can discern what's what. MLM is good. That's right. It wasn't but for him. I remember out of 5,000 or so people I have on my team, I signed up two that I knew. My mother and my cousin. I talked to 300 of my family members who told me no. Wow. I've been like, yo, man, I got a line on one of the things. You know, they'd have been like, yeah, 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 yeah. Put me on. Where's that? Who? Where you at? <laughs> right? But over here, oh, man, that's one of the things. Come on, man. Now, every last time I'm hitting they want me to give me something. Every time they call me and ask me for money, I say no. <laughs> I say no really fast. I'm like, no, but I will show you how to come and make that money. Make some money. They don't ever want to do that. Video. The easiest way to get people to stop asking you for money is to tell them you're going to show them how. That's when they, they'll never call you. Either. Wow. Because they don't want that. So if I was to give you $1,200, you want it, but if I show you how to make $1,200. So that's the thing. It's uh, renew. So. We don't renew right now. You have to renew. You cannot put old wine in a new in a in, in a new flask. That's right. You can't. So, how many of y'all talk to the same old people? Mm -mm. Sometimes yes. Can't do it. Right. Yes. New. This person, that lady. We were fighting with that lady right there. Old old different. Jackie, we we all know Jackie Bill. Mm-hmm. See. I've never been around her, even to this day, when she's not trying to recruit somebody. When we're in the airport, she must have got 20 numbers in the airport that day. I'm just sitting there looking at her. Mm. She will talk to that microwave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm dead serious. She's a beast like that. Oh, a beast. I learned a lot about her when we flew to uh, Little Rock one day. And then we flew to California the other day. I watched her just <coughs> through the room. I just ain't hungry like that. She was inspiring me like, damn, let me say something to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that's why she's successful. Yes. Renewing. See, you've been conditioned by this world. Conditioned. To work. That's all you need. So you, it's a condition. Watch it out. It's a condition. And it said, but don't be conformed by this condition. Because if, the, if all you have is a job, you've been conformed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, the people in this room, as I, as I close, Say they want it. But wanting it, you can say you want something all day long. But think about your day. You get up, you do this, you do that, you do this. How much of that time are you spending on your network marketing just on your, on your business? See, when most people get depressed, the first thing they do is stop doing the thing that's going to make the money. I, I know I said that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it again. Mm -hmm. You know what I did? I worked hard. Because I knew there was no way in H-E-L-L that Comcast was ever going to pay me 
as much as I make it right now. I cannot wait to fit this morning. Me neither. I love the 15th of this morning. But, but you know what? I loved it when I was making 500 dollars I loved it when it went from 500 to 1000 1000 to 5, 5, 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20. Because I knew, wait a minute, this dude was going to pay me how much money to get 500 people on my team? If, if I got to talk to 15,000 people, that's what I'm going to do. And that's the difference between a diamond and a non diamond. Is that we see it just so clearly. Five minutes? That's all? That's a win. Losers say, can I need 500 people? You get what I'm talking about? So, when I saw 500, you know what I saw? That was just like three to me. You don't believe? When I looked at five, that wasn't, no, I, I didn't look at that like, oh, man. You get what I'm coming up with? Why do y'all keep saying I said five? Because when I became a diamond, we didn't have exactly that. That was the people that, that talked Mr. Manning into having exactly that. Remember, it used to be the first level of diamond was what? That's what I did in six months. Not exactly diamond. I was a reasonable diamond in six months. I'm going to end with this story. I finally started making some money. God humbled me. I got a little air. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I was feeling myself. I was talking to all captains. Oh, man. I'm killing this year. On the way to Vegas. To our very first convention. I get on the airplane. Me, Sunday Channel. I'm hot as a mug. Finally on the airplane. Got some luggage that match finally. You know what I'm Everything is going good. You know what I'm saying? I'm going, I get on the plane. That's why I took this feature off my plane. Those discus, well, not disconnect, that's what I was talking about. Comcast. Those uh, suspensions, uh -huh. I got that feature off my plane. It's, and that's just my personal direct. My team, whoever leaves, don't hit my phone. So I'm on the, I'm on the, I'm on the I turn my phone on. Now all I hear is bling, bling, boom, bling, bling, boom, bling, bling, bling. Guess what happened? Suspensions. I lost 250 people in one day. No. Um, you mean a couple of hours while you were on that plane. Remember? Mm-hmm. You heard about it. Mm -hmm. I went in with Sunday, Sunday Channel just the house. I went from the airport to her sister's house, closed the door, and went nobody looking, crying like this. Now I understood why grown men cry when they lose football. I used to be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> crying for? Man, I'm in that mother crying, boo hooing. Because it was two weeks before we benched. We were going to go, we were staying there, and we were going to fly from California to Vegas. And I was just going to walk across the state and pop the fuck. Maybe everybody, everybody did it, right? So, and I had talked so much back to David Dixon. Oh, I, oh man. It was the hardest thing in the world to do that I had to sit in. See, back in those days, we got a diamond, what? Jacket. I wanted that jacket so bad. I was hurt so bad that my mom had to come find me. I was in the bathroom. They called my name. I came in. I had to walk on stage and get the stupid little award I got. But there's something in life called a defining moment. And the defining moment is when you say, man, I wish I had kept going, or man, I'm glad I did. That was my defining moment. It took every ounce of courage that I had to pull myself up and walk across this stage. Because it was so, oh, gave it, gave it to me, this year. Give me trade. Oh, man, I'm so thankful. It was hugging it out, and man, I was, oh, I was so, hurry up and just, just get this over. <laughs> That's just the guys I'm sure. We laugh about it all the time. They, it was so hard. Man. But from that day forward, I made a choice that where nobody will ever outwit me. And people will tell you, the story is legendary. Sunny Challenger went home. See, the Lord had just blessed me with a companion pet. So I was able to fly 
No, God is always giving me. Whatever you pray for, God gives. Yeah. Like, yes. Like, Say it again. And I was like, I need a companion back. And it's a person on my team, husband, who works for me. But I'm like, I'm not paid. They took it away from you and me. Now I have paid. For those two, 30 days, I went to 15 different cities. And I hit down in 30 days. Oh, wow. I wasn't happy. Because I said, I'm never going to experience this stuff again. Second thing, remember when I lost the diamond? Mm-hmm. Tony Ward, y'all remember her? Mm-hmm. She was a diamond on my team. I lost a diamond. And she took everybody. My first West Coast team. She got that emotional stuff. Hi, baby. I'm not going to tell you why. She did that. That's what she did. Right? Mm hmm. I lost 480 people. Mm-hmm. So we all gonna have. Remember I told you that you gonna have what? You gonna have challenges. You gotta find it. Because it's right. gonna be what? It starts with a D. Domination. Difficult. Oh, difficulty. But it's what? Do it. I learned a lot from that. And each time I lost people, I learned a lot. Some of it had to do with me. Happens. Man, it did me. But I tell you what. At the end of the day, there's no perfect situation. We have to be able to respond effectively. That's right. When it does happen, because it will, because you're going to walk. You guys get anything out of this today? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Know, I, love, I love this part. This is the part I love. I, I hate to know a presentation. To this day, I, I don't like presentations. I do them because I have to. But let me ask you something. Is everybody in this room willing to commit to do five a day? Yes. yes. Five a day? Yes. yes. This is what I promise you of everything I love. If you do five a day, five days a week. Five a day. You will be at least two levels higher than you are right now. Okay. Mm. okay. Because you know what you're going to do? What's the first thing you're going to do when you recruit a person? Oh, absolutely. You're going to follow all these requirements? No. You're going to tell them to do what you just did. So if you have five people on your team calling five people a day, five days a week. That's a lot of people. You see it? Somebody's going to pop. Something's going to pop in that. You see it, right? You know when it don't work? If you don't do that part right there. That part right there. See, people worry about how many people you have. You got five, that's enough. Yeah. That can turn into 50 overnight if everybody's running the play. That's correct. If everybody calling five, so if I got five people calling five a day, that's 25 people a day we call. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So that's over 100 people a week we call. Yeah. Everybody seeing that? Yes. So we call them 25 a day. In two days, we call 50 people. Y'all want to start going to hit my, my timeline. Yeah. Right or wrong? Yes. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So the first thing you do when you recruit, stop giving them the everything. When they come in, this, that, this, no, no, no. Don't worry about all that. Make a list. 100 people. We're going to call what? Five a day. Well, what about this? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. You give them too much to do, they're going to do. You know, a confused mind takes no what? Action. Bam, that's it. Because you confuse them. So I said, well, brother, what should I do? Call five people a day and tell them about that. And you're going to look up and you can. That makes sense? Yep. Yes. And then much love. Oh, you're not done? No, you're not done? You got 20 minutes. Questions? Any? First of all, was he phenomenal? Oh, yeah. I mean, way better than my presentation training. This was a surprise to me, and I'm so glad you guys came to take it all in. But you got about 20 minutes. You can pick his brain, ask some questions. Don't be afraid. We're all family in here, and we're all here to learn from each other. So 
Take advantage while you got them here. Shoot. Anybody? No question is a dumb question. Not, I mean, a dumb question is a question not asked. So. So guys, we were just graced with a great training. Again, very impromptu. Hey, Mona Lisa. Um, yeah, you missed it, girl. He popped up by surprise to train us. So um, all I want to say is, guys, when you miss events like this, you're missing out on the possibility of getting informed and being taught, um, well, actually what we call lit learning, implementing, and teaching. This is an opportunity for you to learn um, diamond activity, to learn about your business, to learn about what it's gonna take to move you ahead. So I would urge you guys, um, tomorrow we have Success Lab training. Um, we are being graced by our regional diamond, Miss Tawana Houston, doing the training. And then we're gonna have our free agents, uh, Diamond, Niaja Bangaroo, and international executive, Jamal Welch, um, heading up the day. So I would urge you, if you miss today, don't miss tomorrow. Um, and if anything, try to be here next week because, again, you never know who's going to show up at our door to grace us with a great, great, great training. I'm going to sign us out now, guys, because, again, we're about to prepare for the presentation, and I will be back to share that with you. Thanks, Michelle, for tuning in. Uh, Stephanie, for tuning in. It really was. I hope you guys really got something out of it. All right? Talk to you soon. Hey, vacation. Let's get it.